Three, two, one, and uh, blast off. Hello. This is Only Paper, and the way that I'm going to be doing this, this is uh, for those that are watching pre recorded in the future at some point. Um, this is going to be what I'm calling a pre pre show, where I normally have pre shows that. Uh, cover the podcast that we'll be doing into the future. I'm recording this on the 21st of January, 2023. And the plans were to have this for uh, the podcast for the Lunar New Year on the 22nd. Uh, things changed and we had to reschedule. Uh, no big deal, no problem. But uh, the end result of that is um, a change in plan. So for this first minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that everything is live. Uh, the way, um, so I wanted to do kind of a, uh, <laughs> very much a sort of, this is what it is, kind of a like behind the scenes sort of thing. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the OBS side. I'm going to be working on OBS and no sip and the sip. So that's why it's green right now. And so next what I'll be doing is I'll be checking to make sure everything is rolling on. Uh, we have a few different services going on. So I'll pause the services I don't need. And I'll be going over to the sections where I feel like it might be good. So I can pause everything there and I can reset. Uh, so I'll show over on the Twitch side here. So Twitch is over here. And so that's good. We have the YouTube side, which is over here. And so I'll just pop in over here, make sure that's silenced. And so I'll be following along with the chat, uh, the, as I like to say, the live studio audience in OBS. Um, so if it's, uh, if someone says something on Twitch, then I'll reply to both. If it's uh, something a little bit more like, I don't know, whatever, then I might just send a message through there. So that is the logistics side of things. And so what, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just show what it all looks like um, as far as my scheduling, kind of what I do for videos and such, because I think that's good and interesting content. So why not? So this is my Better Record calendar where I show everything that I have scheduled to record is everything that I'm planning to do. Uh, I tend to keep this like more in the future kind of stuff like that, where the archive is what I'm working on right now, which is uh, pre pre, and then we'll say pre pre one, and yeah, we'll do like that in case I do more than one video today. And so this is the better writing calendar as well, which is uh, something that I do as well. I write every day. So I'll go over to betterzombie.com and I'll see that if it, the essay published for the 21st, which it did. So we'll go ahead and uh, fill in that block over here. Then go back over here to the 21st. That one's all good. So next over to the schedule side. So because of this change in plan, I'm going to rename this to pre-pre and this will be two. So... Today is like episode one to kind of get some of these going, which would be the Puzzles podcast pre-show for the 29th, uh, Religion and Politics for the weeks after. And so, yeah, that's kind of part of the plan, just hanging out too. So imagine when people filter in, the, you know, we'll talk about whatever for like a half hour or whatever, as, it, <laughs> as we tend to do, so... Uh, what I need to do as well is check the calendar here. So we have January, February, we have March. And so with March, what I want to do is I want to get down to, it is the February 28th. So where is that logic going wrong? Here we go. So that is right. So we need to go down to March. So 5, 12, 19, 26 goes to the 31st. And this would be April 1st. So we'll do that. And then, so that would be April 2nd. 
and then I'll just go through and uh, copy over the rest of that. So that way we can uh, get things going there. So this is going over that way. Um, so let's see. The purple here means, or the kind of pink means that it's the next day. Green is for writing stuff, kind of like on the side panel, but I'll just read it out. Uh, so we have red for a podcast or medical stuff, orange for art, yellow for a video game, green for writing, blue for online stuff. Um, this would be kind of more of a online stuff, but I'm uh, doing this as a as a podcast style thing. And then like stuff I'd primarily do on in person. So I have them typically sorted by days, which would be Sunday for podcasts for the semi-interactive podcast project. Saturdays would be the pre-shows or the pre-pre-shows if it's like something like this one where it's live, uh, which would be, uh, I'll show this over here in a moment. So in the YouTube studio, I have a video planned for this evening. And I'll scroll down here. That I was originally going to do for uh, around uh, 11 a.m., um, but instead it's going to be for 11 p.m., because I, I recorded the video, it's for the overlay that uh, I can show over here in a moment. So that would be for the Lunar New Year one. Uh, but because we're not doing that episode, then we'll go ahead and minimize that. We'll go back over to the SIP, no SIP uh, side of things, so that way I can uh, show a bigger screen. And so, yeah, we'll... Uh, what we'll do is I think we'll, we'll clear out some of the uh, the drafts and we'll, then we'll go into the puzzle pre-show and I'll show how I do that and kind of build that out. <clears throat> if people stop in, then I'll, I'll take ideas on what to draw for that. Otherwise, we'll just kind of roll with what we got. So the, the way that I'll do that is I'll switch over to the SIP. And I might even just show this. Uh, I'll do that with the the chat room sh side shown off screen, just in case uh, anyone says anything <laughs> un unfavorable, then uh, that will save things from having to censor later on in the future. So we have the lunar um, overlay over there. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be going over to, I have uh, this folder where I store the overlays, which is like all the kind of stuff of like, the particular episodes of like if I work on the novel zero two, the med uh, media maintenance, video game stuff, and other templates. The underlay would be more of the underlying things, such as the the break music and the avatars, and duplicate just because. And so I'll be focused on the sip folder for right now, which should include the sip drink. Uh, this one we did for episode two. So that one I'll rename and I'll throw these two into the, uh, well, we, we decided to bail on this one. So I'll rename that to uh, Z Lunar. So that way it's like an archived version of that. And we'll throw that in the archives just so I can kind of show that. Uh, we have the New Beginnings episode, uh, which is year two, episode 29. And then, uh, let's see, so year, yeah, this is uh, episode 30 was the 2022 albums. Uh, episode 31 was the work uh, podcast, and then 32 is the sip drink. So then that's where we are with that. So episode 233 would be the one we want to have for the puzzles episode. So 233 puzzles. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll work on that more later. Uh, so we have the, the typical hosts, guests, and hosts of Bella, Cecily. We have the template. Uh, we'll probably just move that. Um, how do I want to move that? Maybe a dash ghost. Yeah, there we go. Uh, sorry for the, uh, <laughs> the system sound there. Uh, so a... Ghost, Bella, Cecily, Itty, Nigel, more, uh, that's uh, for the archive. And then we have the Sippas, which are like the uh, 
adjacent uh, episodes. And so let's uh, let's bring this one over, and we'll say twenty nine. Okay, so this was going to be for the lunar year there, but uh, that one didn't come to pass. So it'd be the rabbit that I went with for that drawing. So let's go over there and associate to that puzzles picture that I just made there. So that way we can see a little bit in the background there. Uh, so we'll call this puzzles. And then I'll just jump over to it, browse to there. So at least we have something going on. Oh, you can't see anything right now. So that's uh, <laughs> that's an oops. Uh, so let's go get that fixed. Uh, and I'll show how to do that after I fix it. Yeah, we'll one, two, eight. Okay, so what I did there was I went over to the image, right click filters. And so the way I had it before was I had it set to the blue as the background rather than this uh, kind of pinkish uh, magenta color. So with that chroma key, I can get most all of the colors that I want to chroma key. And we can make sure that everything works out well there. Uh, let me just go check over on the other screen to have that uh, YouTube side running as well. So... Uh, the the way that I'm doing these pre-shows is essentially everything that I do during the podcast. I just I, I just explain what I'm doing live, so that way it's kind of a a fun sort of glimpse into what I do, and uh, especially like in the first five minutes or something on on how I'm uh, I'm going through everything. So it's uh, it's fun though. I like it. So. Yeah, this way I can have the uh, the YouTube side rolling, so I can see what's going on there. I have the uh, the Twitch side as well on the other computer, and so yeah. Let's see what else. Yep, that's all good. So yeah, we have we have basically the puzzles going on over here. Um, this one was for the. Sip drink, we can go ahead and just remove that. And so for this, um, can plan the who's going to be on the episode, which right now could be uh, well, myself, could be Bella as well. So we'll throw Bella over here and we'll move me and Idy around because we're typically the three that are on the most often. And the thing about this is it's like, based on who is all here, I would want to plan out like what the space is on the right. If Nigel's here, for example, then we can move Nigel over um, and then kind of have that uh, have that space filled in a little bit more. If not, then no big deal. If someone shows up, then we can always kind of, I can always shuffle everyone around. But uh, yeah, it's just a little bit kind of like, if I plan for three folks, then what would I put in the background here? If four, then what would I put in the background sort of thing? So, I don't know. It's something that uh, I would want to have a little bit more of a sort of cohesive idea. I used to be able to do that really easily with the old overlay, um, but this one's a little bit... It's too freeform, but the... Freeform aspect allows me just to do what I want, which is nice, but having too much of what I want means that then I can't, uh, say, puzzle things together in a good way that makes sense. So, haha, on that. <laughs> so then we also have the orbs over here. I'll jump into Discord, into the SIP cord, and show how that looks. Um, where are you? It takes a moment for it to launch. So let's see, full colors over here, yep. And so I could do, as I do with some episodes, I'll have like, I'll rearrange them like this. So for example, uh, this would be the Bella orb. This would be the Itty orb. 
and then this would be the zombie paper orb depending on who's all in and uh, how it aesthetically looks if it's like a two-person podcast then all we need to know is that hey someone's talking cool uh, <laughs> sort of sort of thing so uh, with these I might even expand them out a little bit so I'll look to see what their general sizes are and then consider whether I want to resize them or not. So I'll go, uh, the problem with uh, the screen right here, if I do full screen, then I don't see basically from about here to about here to about here and here because the monitor drivers aren't existent. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a weird kind of situation, a weird setup. Uh, basically, it was a really cheap monitor. Uh, so it didn't really help too much here. Um, can still move this around and go in. Yeah, there's nothing really below filters here. So we'll go transform, edit, transform, just to see kind of the general shape of that. So you have 1344 by 1000. And I think that might be the same all the way through. But the difference is the cropping down here. So I might go and just wing it. See how the first one looks like if I bring this up quite a bit. Uh, so we have, uh, is there an easy way to see the numbers, consistent numbers all the way through? Um, not offhand. So... I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll do the first one, and I can always revert it back based on what I have. So that might be good here. So let's go into Transform Edit. So, okay, so it went from whatever this number was and 1,000 to close to 2,000 in this number. So I might try to get it close to... Uh, the second number, which was 1,500, to get it, um, like, aim for that value. So we'll see what that looks like here. Transform edit. Very close to that. So just a little bit more by way of doing it like that. Transform edit. Just a little bit over. <laughs> it's like, it's like over, under sort of thing so let's see if I can uh, move that down a little bit and see if I can force it into place okay how about about there I click transform edit nope so how about like that or is it too fast um nearly there I want to get it precise but uh how much am I going to chase after this so we'll do this again. So I'm looking for four more. So what we'll do is we'll do um, one, two, three, four. And that might not give me precisely four, but at least we'll try. So let's go over here, right click, transform, edit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it gives me 60 over. So, you know, it's, it's something of... Um, I have to do this a lot anyway, so I don't mind all that much, but still like one of those like, wow, this, this is really something, isn't it? 28, so move that a little bit like that. It's probably a lot smaller now. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. The, the nice thing about this version of OBS is that you can see the, the exact range of all these, but... It doesn't snap as well. So before I used to be able to like snap up against the side and it would work just fine. Now it just kind of like, it does its own thing. <laughs> it's just like, okay, fine. So maybe, maybe it'll have better luck up against here. So right click transform edit. So we're looking for a lot more size there. So let's see if this will work here. And throw that over. Yeah, right click transform edit. So 108 more. And then uh, Itty over here says that you can change the number of pixels it snaps by. That would be very useful to figure out how to do that because uh, I would, I would, 
as you as you saw and as you commented on, um, you were like, "Wow, th this is a tricky process." So let me uh, let me cough really quick here, though. So I'll throw in a quick. Uh, let's see, no mic or music, no mic. So that message of saying, like, if you caught that, you receive a prize of insignificant value uh, doesn't count for this one. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, what Itty says is under settings. So let's uh, resize this. Go under settings. General. Wait for it. Source alignment. So I haven't poked around here too much. Source alignment. Okay. And snap sensitivity enable. Snap sources to edge of screen to other sources to this. And we'll just go I'll try one on that. See how that looks. Because I wonder. Oh, that's already seen a little bit of a difference there. That's neat. So we're looking for 36 is the difference and that might explain the weird math that was going on with that oh i couldn't understand it as uh obs is a fine tool <laughs> it, it uh, just does what it wants and then we just kind of accept it but uh it is uh it is for what it's worth having a free open source multi-platform tool is certainly very um very altruistic and very polite. Looks like I got to do a little bit more setting changes over here. So file settings and then wait for it. And over here to that was source alignment snap. Uh, let's try the, let's go by five. I think it was the 0.5 that was messing things up. Yeah, so this is giving me more of a snap and thank you for that i'm sure you've dealt with that quite a bit and you're just like yeah i know that feeling so yeah let's see on this one here how that aligns closer because i'm looking okay so 76 i almost wonder if this logic is aligning up very well so it is not so it just kind of doing its own thing. So uh, let's see. Maybe I'll just go. So we have seven. Maybe I'll try eight. Yeah. Is it? Is it gonna let me? No. Is it? Are you gonna be polite? This. This is real. What I talk to OBS about. I'm like, are you gonna be polite with me? No, you're not. Okay. Are you gonna be polite now? How about? There we go. Nine. Are we getting closer? Yeah, there we go. Close enough for me. <laughs> okay. So how does that look over here? That looks pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that size. I'm happy with all that. So we'll go ahead and apply that in a way where I can test the how that orb looks. So we'll copy these numbers off screen. Uh, so we have uh, 2010 and then 1505. So then I'll copy that over to, I'll oh, show orb three. Transform edit. So these numbers, 2010 and this one here. Save it. And then this one I will edit over which is 1,000 by 334, to see the difference there. So 1,000. So that's, yeah, that's too small. I think, I think having that other number is going to work better. So we'll go back over. 
2010 by 1504. Yeah, I think that's a good design. So transform edit 2010. Uh, okay, 2010 and then 1504. Close it. So yeah, the sort of design elements is what I look at. I typically what I'll do is I'll think about this as I'm watching other stuff or as I'm kind of like thinking about what, what kind of overlay stuff do I want to do? How do I want this to appear for the episode? So it's, uh, since you're here, it's kind of a good show of what kind of logic I do and all that kind of stuff. Logic is, uh, it actually does happen with me. <laughs> Despite seemingly like sometimes I just kind of run around and do whatever. I do have a general logic and framework I work with. And so we'll rotate this, flip horizontal, and then what we'll do is we'll move the spinning cup over this way. Because I might, hey, this is a good idea, like kind of puzzle out the the way that I'll look, uh, this podcast will look. So we'll go B for Bella, I for Itty, Z for Zombie Paper, kind of like these, and we'll center. We'll center this roughly kind of because the center point would be somewhere between here and here. So like roughly about there. So that's good enough. And yeah, I think this will look out. This will look pretty good. Um, the thing I'm thinking of right now is I still need to ask um, like what specific of the hosts that are on what the specific pod and uh, podcast puzzles, what kind of specific puzzles we like. Uh, I would go with um, the Picross. That would be the one that I'd pick. And uh, I'm not going to finish that pun, but that would be something where um, if you feel like answering Itty, since you might be on the podcast next week, uh, go for it. If not, don't worry. I still would want to ask Bella as well and then kind of come up with something. Uh, it might be kind of generic-ish, but it's uh, it's something that, like, a lot of it I can just prep some of this and then I can go on from there. So it's like if I get to a point where it's like I've done all this, then I can decide, okay, I can go on to the next thing. It's not a big deal. So what we'll do is we'll have the uh, all of the orbs kind of in this general direction. And we'll say, like, that seems like it might be okay. Um, we'll put this orb over my head. This one, these two are under the the sip mugs. And this one, to have the consistency should be either under or over or somewhere around here. So maybe we'll try uh, underneath. And then we'll see how that looks. Maybe. Um, what I was thinking as well is I could jump that under the host there, so that way you have like that kind of um, cuts at, uh, cuts over. So I think that might look pretty good. So that looks like our bit. Um, but what I want to do is I want to check to make sure that none of these images are rolling, um, running while it not being shown, shown like with these, uh, Nigel ones. So go ahead and, uh, unload all of these and just go through them. And I don't know why I went first there, uh, probably because I added mine in first. So we'll jump me down. And we'll go like this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So these are good. Uh, so for, I'll show this off really quick here too. So we have the uh, semi-interactive podcast project adjacent restaurant reviews that uh, Kip and myself will be doing at some point. Um, I have everything all done, but we just have been uh, doing the kind of logistic planning. While we're here, I might as well just show it. So we have uh, four future podcast episodes where I do like these adjacent reviews or, or these adjacent episodes and restaurant reviews. 
then like if uh if say someone else stops by then it'd be like myself and kip or the same for like we did for the astrology uh reading that would be uh with bella and myself so so that's a plan that i've been having for the sippas or the adjacent ones and uh it's turned out pretty well so those ones typically are offline uh those are typically more of the um like record at our own pace, no live studio audience, nothing like that. But you have the flexibility, right? Um, I'll get to Idie's message in a moment here because uh, this is where I can kind of meander for a bit about the idea of having a live studio audience or a chat room versus uh, recording offline. So when you record offline, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to take a break for like five minutes and go stretch my legs. Uh, doesn't matter. I can always cut that out in the editing bay later on. Whereas when you do it live, uh, let's phrase like this right now, it, doesn't really care too much. Just, I get to it whenever, which I really appreciate. It's a very, uh, kind perspective, but when you have uh, some folks, you know, it's like you want to kind of go at their pace. You want to make sure that you're entertaining and fun so when I, when I, I always try to look at the live studio audience at the chat room, the, the chat or however you want to phrase it, because it's like, ultimately they're there. They, the audience are the reason why we as broadcasters are doing our thing. Otherwise we're, we're broadcasting into the void, into, into nothingness. And no one's watching. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone there. Uh, watching live or in the future and so yeah it's it's that and then uh, what itty says is i like all kinds of puzzles if you're looking for making overlay assets i'll have to think about it so i'm trying to think of what i want to do so i'm thinking of having like a uh, oh wrong mouse so what i'm thinking of doing is having like Maybe some kind of combination of like Picross and Tetris and a third puzzle to kind of piece in the background. So that's my kind of plan right now. And since we're talking about it, I might as well open up some Picross and play around just to show kind of what I do uh, and <laughs> maybe how I do it wrong. Uh, how I can improve on it. Uh, so this is the website that I like to use, this uh, Picross one here, because um, it's flexible. Uh, you don't get to choose what pictures you have. I'll throw this in the chat. Um, so you don't get to like, uh, I want a bird, or I want a plane, or whatever. I want a, I want a super person. But instead, you get um, a lot of randomization. So this is a... Uh, this is a 10 by 10 here. And so for those that aren't aware of Picross, let me first rearrange the screen a little bit so I can see it. So what you do is you, you match up the, the numbers, this one here, I'll start with this. You have, you have three in a row and then you have six in a row. So this one's very straightforward. You start with, I look for ones like this, where essentially you're looking for uh, about nine or 10 to add up to that number. And so I can go like this and I can block off that bit and then go three. And now this one is all X'd out. But then what we have here is we've opened up a few other opportunities for ourselves. So what I look for next is any ones that have one in them. And so I'll go like this to kind of clean, clean them up. So the general logic is that there won't be a one somewhere like there will only be these two ones here. And then you have the three over here. Um, so the way that this line would work is that you have one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So this one, the three, one, one, it could only happen with a bit 
or the three must fit here. There could be a one here and a one here or a one there. And so what we can do over here is X these out and then keep on going down the list and just kind of isolate the ones that we know and then clean up the ones that we don't know. So this one here, we have, uh, we have three at the end, so one, two, three. So this one can't be uh, a, a selectable item because then, or a block, because if it is, then this would be four. So I can X that one out, do the same over there, do the same with these. And so already we're clearing out a lot of the space here. So I can go three here, and that X's that one out. I can do a one here and a one there. And so over here, I can see that that is one, two, and then some ones. So I can get that going. That's a one and like that. So I can keep on kind of rolling here. Um, I cut out that because it was one on either side. And because this one must be three, one, two, three, this whole bit goes. So that's nice as well. And so then we have four, two. So this can be X'd out there because it's uh, you can't have more than two. So this would be one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. And that works out well there. So next up here we have one, three, three. So one and space, one, two, three, space. And then this would be three there. And then we can exit that out, X that out. We get three, one, two, three. And there are multiple ways to look at these. Um, I'm, I'm good enough to get randomized to about like, 20 by 15 is my comfortable challenge maximum. I can't do the 30 by 30s, but, you know, it's like there's there's a lot that you can do with these. They're, they're, um, I look at them as like if I see a puzzle and that helps me complete the puzzle, then it helps me build up pathways in my mind of how I can solve other puzzles in life. So that works out pretty well for me. I like that. Uh, these are kind of like parts of the pre-show that I think about, like, what do I like about puzzles? Uh, the topic at hand, what do I like about them? Like, well, we picked the topic, but, but why? <laughs> so, yeah, just fun stuff like that, right? And so here's an interesting one. So we have two left over here. One, two, so I can't go up any further than one, two. And so that helps me clean up the, the bits over here. We have this one, it can't go any further. So we go one, two, one, two, like that. And so this one, we only have one line over there. So that's good. That blocks off this bit over here. And this bit over here, we can block out here too. So next up we have one, two, three, four, and then that. So that cleans up this quite neatly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, like that. And then we did fancy, yay, celebration. <laughs> uh, good stuff there. So I want to see how I might want to design this. So let's go figure this one out here. Uh, so I'll rearrange stuff off screen so I can see a little bit better. I want to basically look for any kind of like drop frames, this kind of stuff. This bar right here is the big one. Uh, so, yeah, what I'll do is I'll drop it down so that I can see it. Go over to the sub puzzles drawing, the this one over here. And so what I'll be doing is I'll be rearranging it so I can look at the screen a little bit better. And so we're just kind of moving stuff around a bit to figure out what kind of stuff I want to draw because Tetris is a good one. Everyone likes Tetris. Um, Picross is kind of a weird one. Uh, I like Picross. Maybe some folks don't. Uh, for Tetris, there is a there is a website that I was using for a while on my old computer. Um, let me go bring that up on my side so I can share that. 
Uh, where are you? Ba -ba -ba. Video games. Yeah. Tet. Rur. I. O. <laughs> oh, you got to love it that I just pronounce things as it is. Um, so let me go look that up here and then I'll paste it in the chat or the live studio audience. Oh, not that. Don't do that. I uh, don't know. No. Okay, so edit once more. Because uh, without without like having kind of a plan on what to put in there, I'd just be like, hey, I want to do like uh, Picross. Then I might do like Tetris and all that kind of stuff. So this is a good way. Oh, oops, I, <laughs> I copied over that, so. Oh, no. Thumb drive goes down. Okay, so that is something I need to fix right now. So let me go ahead and fix the bookmark. Tenter.io. That should be correct. And then we'll go over into uh, Picross. We'll go over into Tetris. Open a new window. Oh. That is probably wrong. So we'll go over to the right one. Yeah, so that just, that right there. Thanks for the patience as I fixed the problem I made for myself. <laughs> Okay, so paste that into OBS. That is that side of it. And there you go. So that's the Tetris uh, web version that I play. Uh, I it, it has like a, it's free um, and it's multiplayer. So that's pretty nice. So it's something like you can have, uh, I don't know, you can have someone else uh, that, like when I played a little while ago with someone, we just kind of played on like a easy difficulty, no gravity mode. We just kind of like played and whoever, uh, whoever filled up the screen and lost first, like played for like a half hour on one map. It was pretty cool. So that could be something. Uh, and as far as the logic goes for this, I could wipe out the title and who's all in. That could be something to free up the space, or I could even have like, this could be like a Tetris, this could be like a Picross map or something like that. Um, however that turns out, I don't know, but uh, it, uh, it would probably make more sense to have that in white because a lot of the uh, puzzles, like crossword puzzles and all that kind of stuff tends to be more in white. So what I'll do is I'll just, like a lot of this is like the the prep side of it, the stuff that is the as as I say the pre pre show, so the stuff that goes in before I start the the art process or the logic process, more of the foundational stuff. So I think this will be good just to kind of have as the basis, and so I'll do do all this and I'll say puzzles and kind of move this around a little bit. I think that might be fine, just about right there. Save it, it updates on your side. So that looks good. So what I'll do, because I still wanna do like a pre-show, that would be where I'd do like the research. I'd say like, Okay, this is like the, the uh, I go over to Wikipedia, not sponsored, and I'd be like, here's the history of um, puzzles, and I just kind of like look at that a little bit. I'd see like, you know, what kind of stuff is there here? So I'd go over here and say, uh, I'd read out all this stuff. I'd go look for anything that's kind of curious, ideas that might be. Um, so like right now, what I'm looking at right now, besides the, <laughs> the the huge cursor that I do, because otherwise I'm like, where's the cursor? I can't find it. Oh, right there is the academic study of puzzles is called enigma to enigma -tology. So I think that's pretty neat. So it's like a whole, uh, it, 
it, it gets into the study of like logic. I, I would assume it's like math and logic and cryptology, these these ideas of um, I, figuring out like how to undo a puzzle or to make a puzzle, logic puzzle. Uh, let's uh, let's make sure that we uh, remove the page previews there just to make sure. <laughs> because it's like I highlight something it's like ooh I didn't want to show that on the screen so yeah I imagine that there's a lot going on here both in terms of formal academic uh, oh it looks like it didn't even didn't even go there so the formal academic study of puzzles uh, and then just casual stuff too um, you know, like uh, you have uh, jigsaw puzzles aforementioned crossword puzzles you have uh, more of like I would imagine like challenge puzzles, um, mechanical puzzles, including Rubik's cubes. Um, I never got into Rubik's cubes, um, so I just like what I do is I just um, set up the 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 document for that. So I'll do that here next because uh, we're doing all this. I might as well show the whole process. So we have a, I have like a whole big uh, folder, the semi-interactive podcast project folder. And so it has like some business stuff that, that I'm planning out with uh, some folks in the, in the podcast project, uh, image assets from a while ago. This I need to clean up, add, remove, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I threw the writing talks in there when I was doing these as like solo projects. Uh, these are somewhat out of date. We have the calendar. Somewhat out of date as well, but uh, kind of neat look through history. So the show notes. Um, here's all the kind of drafts of things that we're planning. We had uh, new projects was something that we were thinking about last year. Um Unless it's fully dead, dead, then it's still in this kind of folder here. Um, the archives are where I throw the stuff that's either dead, dead, or um, need, to, need to go in and finish it. So, you know, stuff like that, right? So, now we have these topics here. And so, oh, we did this one. Let me just double check here. The work episode. I forget if there's anything I need to do here. Uh, no, I think I think that uh, covers everything there. So cool. Uh, throw that in to the year two. Move it. So the Lunar New Year, I wanted to show um, the show notes for this. I grabbed some from... It was... Yeah, okay, so I had I had some going um, for when I drew the, uh, the picture, the rabbit picture I showed before. So I compiled a little bit of that, and then I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> it, it, uh, it's this one right here. Let's just check the oh, – I have to do one of these to check the URL. Uh, so WT5. W25. So it was like I record it, but after like I normally plan for about one hour and 38 minutes, and I was like, you know, I'm done. I don't really feel like doing much more research. I was having a little bit of difficulty with the research process. And so I was just like, ah, I'm good. I think that's good enough for me to have it because I'd already done a lot of research for the New Beginnings episode. And so it's fine. Um, so I'll say canceled on that. Oh, no. So we'll clear out um, everyone here because we didn't end up doing one. So just like that. And then we have 1TX. 1TX lines up there. And so, yeah, that's good enough for me. I'll, I'll keep the, uh, the tags there just because... Um, why not? Um, what I'll do then is I'll put this as 
so numbers or pound signs create tags. So uh, maybe I'll just do underscore. There we go. Because the episode 2033 would be puzzles. So this is the in the this is where I'll go and I'll edit this in the in what we had planned for episode 2-33 I had planned oops planned to be joined by Bella and it is we talked about the lunar new year um, we had to cancel the podcast due to unforeseen circumstances aka we didn't get to be able to do the podcast so instead i'm uploading this video as a relic for that idea and since i drew some art so there's the pre-show description on that side kind of explains the context and why we didn't end up doing that which i think is a good I, I the thing that i want to be clear is i'm not like saying like oh it's this or it's that like you know just for like yeah we're, we're busy this week we can't do it uh so cool don't worry about it so year two archives we'll throw that in there uh for the so we were calling the uh the monthly sobriety podcasts of which we did two so far one uh which was uh a month ago with nigel idiot and myself and then one we did last week with idiot and myself um so we were calling it sip drink but then i liked the title of sobriety check-in month two or whatever it was i thought that was a really cool idea i thought that was really like this is what it's all about is like checking in to make sure we're doing good. Um, so I might, I might kind of just steal that idea, but put it in like, we'll still call it soup drink until we decide to change that. But then I'll put it in like this, uh, close this one out and I'll we'll actually reopen it because this is underscore underscore. And then this is underscore underscore. Because uh, the last note on this is that we can't really defer that because uh, Lunar New Year is roughly like a 12-day celebration for some cultures. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's like a three-day celebration. So it can fall anywhere between January 21st it, it is today so um there is that to february 20th so it's like we could defer it but it's also like it's fine we can do that next year for the various um i can take a quick look here to see what those animals would be for this year and for next year in particular for the chinese new year of which it is the Year of the Rabbit coming up here tomorrow, our tomorrow, or your tomorrow. Like, I don't know when you're watching this, uh, if you're not watching this live. Uh, so you have Rabbit, Dragon, and Snake. Compared to Tet, or the Vietnamese New Year, uh, where it is a lot different uh, for animals. They sometimes line up. Uh, let's see, because it is the year of the cat, I believe. Yeah, cat and then dragon. So, I don't know what, what the difference is. Uh, I, I know the difference between a cat and a rabbit. <laughs> I, I crack myself up a little bit sometimes. I know the difference. I don't know the uh, specific idea difference but yeah i think it's cool i think it's great but um we're not able to do it 
no big deal. So we'll just do one for the year of the dragon. I'll be, or, you know, we'll do it. We'll do it whenever, maybe in 12 years, we'll do a year of the rabbit slash cats to get things in order. Uh, let's check the Korean side of things as well. I think that lines up closer. Uh, let's see, rabbit. Nope. They don't show the particular um, animals here. So I think it's rabbit for the Korean New Year. But I don't know. Those are the three main ones I looked at. Uh, I didn't look at the Japanese New Year too much. Um, so is this one... Do we have some animals here? I just kind of scroll through pretty quick. So, yeah, no worries on that. It happens, especially as I'm going through and as I'm preparing for weeks in advance. Um, plans change. Things change. Perspectives change. So the reason why I plan in the future is because... Uh, I'm recording this on Saturday. If I were to record this during the week when I work, that's really exhausting. So I prefer not to if possible. But it's also one of those like, I can pad things around. I can move things around quite a bit. Like for Thursdays here, it's like I can either do some uh, some medical stuff here. I could shuffle those around a little bit to have more pre-show stuff. If I wanted to research a lot about religion or politics, I could do that. Or I could do like one-off videos, like I want to do one about local admin, kind of talking about the logic and framework on the benefits of having a dedicated local admin account versus a regular account. So for example, if you're going to a website and it's like, hey, download this, and you're like, why do I want to do that? Uh, I will give you a little prompt because you're not logged in as an admin account or administrator account versus uh, if you're logged in as an administrator, hey, go download this and you click OK and then all of a sudden you have a thing downloaded. Maybe you don't want that thing. So yeah, I just figured it'd be good to show like a little bit of what I do. And this is more of like the the maintenance kind of stuff that I have here with these these video blocks or basically every every other week now I'll be doing like here's what I do for the the YouTube descriptions or I'll publish essays or I'll do other things like that. I have a whole kind of bit over here for it. Uh right here. So it's like editing all this kind of stuff, doing all this kind of like uh, editing old drafts, redoing templates, clean up descriptions, doing any odds and ends that could be tedious otherwise outside of a video. Uh, so stuff like that, right? Just kind of uh, bunch them all together in a fun way. Um, and I do it as kind of like a way to clear off the queue. So yeah, we have puzzles mostly sorted out. Um... Yeah, I think what I'll need to do next for that, for the drawing side, is I'll need to ping Bella and say, what kind of puzzles do you like the most? Do you like crossword puzzles? Do you like uh, uh, whatever? And like get one from Idy as well. And then just kind of combine the three into a kind of abstract design where it'd be like, um, see if like, it'd be, what, what would that be? Over over down the corner, have something more related to Picross, then maybe let's say um, crossword puzzles, and then let's say Tetris. Um, and that way it's kind of neat, right? It's like kind of like in thirds is kind of my, my tentative idea if we three are going to be on, if Nigel is can be on, or say Josh or anyone else, then more people, more decisions um i could go like that or i could just go with uh something more generic um i have tomorrow to plan that out <laughs> um so and i could also do the drawing during the week but uh what i want to do is i want to do the the research probably today or tomorrow so that that way i could have saturday covered 
and then I could work on the research this weekend, and then I could work on the drawing side of it throughout the week. But that's kind of like the the pre production side of the podcast is doing doing that of having like planning things out. The further out I go, the better. Uh, I kind of like to keep the sober ones more like closer to it because be like you know who's going to be on what are we going to kind of like what kind of big stuff what might we want to talk about or do i just want to do like a scribble and draw something and have it kind of more um more contemporary to our conversation where here i can i can think of already i can think of like okay so puzzles religion politics manufactured honesty uh, this one I threw at, uh, through, I kind of like, after this one, I was like, hey, we have a, we have a few different c- things that I can put in there. Uh, let me put it on the calendar. So what I have in the calendar is what I can add right now. <laughs> so we have manufactured honesty on the 26th. We have animal ethics and veganism. Uh, on the 5th, this is the um, open slot. We have the sobriety one over here. Uh, we have a few going on this month in in March, I should say, because we have the weekly sobriety check-in. Uh, we have my sobriety from cannabis, my 10-year sobriety uh, podcast. That will be a really fun one to... Uh, no, this one is... Oh, I have it wrong on the on the calendar. Uh, it is the seventeenth for cannabis, and it's the twenty ninth. Is it the twenty ninth? Or is it the twenty eighth? I'll look that up in here in a moment. Um, so it is the this one here for alcohol. Uh, the number is kind of tricky, so let me go take a look here at 2013. Um, where are you, 2013? March 29th, yeah, it was a Friday. So, yeah. Now I'm worried about if, <laughs> if I have it right on my side. So let me go check on my calendar here off screen to see if that is, it's like one of those, like, I know it's around that time, but I don't like numbers. So it's the 29th on my calendar, 17th is for cannabis. So yeah, uh, my sobriety day is on that. Uh, The 17th being St. Patrick's Day, it is relevant. So it's something I'll talk about then. Um... Okay, so minimize all those. So, yeah, March is pretty much booked except for the 12th, 26th. Um, And then we have April 23rd is Earth Day, which is when I kind of figured uh, I I didn't... uh, uh, Sorry, I didn't pass it by uh, you yet if you're watching live or in the future. uh, uh, (laughs) Oops. (laughs) Oops. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, I really don't have a lot to say about the Earth. Uh, we live on it, but it'd be fun to do for the element series. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting it down here at the bottom. And I already recorded the one. Uh, if we go back over. Um, and there we are right here. So let's go in and clean up the uh, the description here just slightly. Um, hello. Hello. There we go. Um, And this will be part one. We'll do it like this. Podcast, pre-pre-show, part one. Setting up future podcasts. uh, Puzzles. Religion, politics, and more. There we go. Actually, not. There we go. Soon will be. Uh, I I figure it, 
the more words on the title, the more people can read for themselves if uh, they like the idea or they don't like the idea, if they want to go check it out. Um, it's it's a way of like when I'm looking at like the the feed as as you can tell these are generic uploads, uh, but it's like if I'm looking at uh, my subscription feed, I'm like, what is this? I'm gonna read about it. I'm gonna look at the thumbnail. I'm gonna look to see who published it and make a decision if I want to watch it or not. So I figure the more words the better. Uh, I I am a writer after all, uh, so. More words are good er. <laughs> and so yeah, we have uh, we have until uh, that's later on in April, so I'm just gonna keep it down at the bottom. And this is what I do more for the maintenance stuff, but I can at least show that a little bit. Um, we haven't really quite decided on when we're gonna do the restaurant review, so I'll just kind of keep it. Um, to the last possible day on the calendar i could add a whole lot more but then i'd have a lot more clutter just so that way i could be like hey uh plan for something else and when it comes up i can shuffle from there so we'll have the medical stuff could probably probably push it over to uh thursdays after after the this little bit so next up would be religion so what I was thinking of for this one was uh, it'd be really bad if I were to show a whole bunch of religious iconography, right? Um, a very, very high potential for being offensive. So I'm not going to do that um, despite leading that into the idea of like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it to be subversive. It's like, uh, no, that's not the intention. <laughs> it it, it uh, is actually not my intention to be rude or offensive um i just live a life where i want to live by my own rules that is it within virtue of being polite and kind to myself to others and when people don't do that uh that's when things go wrong so yeah uh, I'll throw in the chroma key so you can see what's going on there. Uh, I'll go into filters, chroma key. And it'll be interesting to have that conversation to, to figure where, say, for example, um, what my religious perspectives are overall. Um, I would say overall not a whole lot. Um, I, I don't really, I don't really think about religion a whole lot on a daily basis, but there's a lot of weird spirituality that kind of intersects in my life. So like, all right, that could be something there. So we have the religious or the religion, uh, side of things. So religion and for this, what I was thinking of was more of rather than showing iconography or anything like that, that could be uh, offensive, kind of weird, kind of rude or whatever. I might do like, I don't know, maybe stained glass or something. Because um, it could be a way to go that would be um, secular. I believe that's the word which is denoting attitudes, activities, or other things that have no religious or spiritual basis. So how, how is that for a, a contradiction? Uh, a secular image for a religious podcast or a podcast about religion. Uh, I, I do it to myself sometimes. Sometimes it's like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That would be what it is. It'd be like, uh, um, well, I mean, we did it for the, uh, the, the winter holidays episode where I showed like the, the poll for Festivus, uh, along with what I did was I went with generic 
uh, non-offensive religious imagery for I went with uh, for Kwanzaa there's the um, Kanara the I think that's how it's pronounced the the candles same with the uh, for Hanukkah the equivalent name that I'm forgetting offhand um, and then for Christians there's the uh, instead of like a Christmas tree there's like the uh, the whatever it is the 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 leaves with the uh, the orbs see this is this is where I can kind of get into trouble if I don't phrase it clearly so it's not that I'm being rude because I dislike religion it just for me these are not images or icons that i follow so it's more of just like they're there they're they're neat they're fine i have not i have no problem so there there's nothing really other than just i, I just don't remember what they are <laughs> and the the details i don't really need to remember at all so uh it, it's it's quite okay <laughs> It's just kind of funny. And like, oh yeah, I don't remember these things I studied a few months ago or less than a month ago even. <laughs> oh well. So it could be something like that. Um and it'd be like for me, like studying like what what I like about religion. Um, because it it should be a focus on like the positive side of things, right? It should be a focus on like how meditation is a helpful thing. It doesn't have to be directly like praying. Um, that would be more of the non-secular version of meditation. Um, and like my theory about how mindfulness is basically just Buddhism minus the religious aspect of things. Uh, so talking about a little bit of that, doing a lot of listening, doing a lot of thinking about my my beliefs and such, so you can just kind of looking through. I don't know why, real, why this isn't spelled with an N on there. I'm gonna, gonna pop that off screen to take a look. Ah, okay. So that is the etymology of religion. So there you go. So, yeah. I don't really have much of a plan here either, but I figure the best I can do is just kind of prep things and get that going. Oops, and let's see. So we have, I was thinking about going for another 45 minutes to have a good two hour recording, two hour kind of video. So we'll go in and we'll do some more and we'll go bring that off screen because next we have the politics episode. Uh, so that uh, kind of doing the, the one-two punch of the things that no one likes to talk about. So why not just do that and have that covered? Um, so that I'm going to uh, do the same process. We're going to have the same little uh, chroma key um, wipe out for a minute. And then we're going to go back to it. So sip. And that's going to be politics browse over there politics unload that image and chroma key it so we'll chroma key it in just a moment here there we go uh well there we don't go but we we're a little bit closer filters chroma key and custom what i've come to realize about technology is the more you do it and the faster you get at it, the less inconvenient it can be. So it's like, <laughs> first few times I did that, I was like, ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Now just like, yeah, whatever. It's good. It's fine. So let's see. We have religion there. And this one would be politics, which could be one and the same for some people. Um I would hazard a guess without asking everyone, but I could assume that our general political alignment on the podcast would be kind of more left-leaning. So the reason I bring this up 
is because I was thinking of having a joke here. So I think I can do it right here. Yeah. So <laughs> left leaning. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. So I, I mean, it would be actually part of the bit of having everyone kind of left leaning. Um, but I'd have to confirm because uh, I don't want to assume that, like, no, I'm actually more center or I'm more uh, right leaning. Like, oh, okay, then uh, I'll just uh, align you right order. I'll keep you center. But I thought of that for this episode. I was like, <laughs> uh, a lot of what I do is like, is it is it funny in a way that doesn't harm people? If so, then go for it. Um, also, the uh, need to move everyone down a little bit. Get every, get that kind of closer to where it was before. Uh, is it right there? Yeah, I think it was somewhere around there because I cut about right there. So there we go. So those are the three upcoming episodes covered here. Sober, that one's just going to be its own thing. So manufactured honesty, I could go ahead and plan for that a little bit. Um, since we're here, since we're thinking about stuff. Or uh, let's do the, uh, let's do one better here. So we'll clear out of this one. Um, this is going to be one where I grab the title, sobriety check-in, month two. Yeah, there we go. And so month two, well, it turns into month three. And this is a colon, and then month three. Close that out. So we have Earth coming up later on. So SIP, we'll just do those three. SIP space two dash I think that was 32. Let's find out in a moment. 32 was the previous episode. It's 33 for puzzles. And that would be extended show notes. I'm going to do a little bit cleaner this time, kind of matching closer to that um, sober one. So we'll have uh, pre-show. TBD to be announced. To be determined and podcast. To be determined. And what I usually like to do is I like to put them both in, like, so you have, like, notes here for the pre show, notes here for the podcast. Um, so that works for me. Close that one out. Uh, and I'll clone this, make a copy. Be 34 would be for religion. We're starting with religion on that one. Rename. I'll rename it inside. So that way we can get that going. Religion. And I wonder. Now I think about it. Yeah, the sip I did have as part of the number, so that works out well. Or for the sip drink, so this would be 33, 34, 35, 36. So I'll just go ahead and make one for that so I can make sure that's on the books like that. It would be 36, which would be a sip drink 03. All right, that one's on the books. So religion, close that one out. Make a copy. And so what I do with these is I keep them open, especially on the new computer when I have the the, the bandwidth, the computer has the processing for it. This will be for politics. I'll keep this open and I'll uh, copy down notes, anything that might be relevant, anything I might want to ask about. So, like, uh, so you mentioned this. Uh, Mind if I follow up with that? I'll put like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say for me, zombie paper, 
uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'll put QQQ mark, and I'll look for that in the future. I'll be like, hey, zombie paper, what do you mean by that? Or can you send me a link? Because we're, it's not like a live studio audience thing. And be like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll send that over to you. Here it is. And that way I can kind of follow up with that. I have these three going. So, yeah, this has actually turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm liking this whole idea of um, depending on how I do this and depending on how I feel about this, this could be a really good way for me to uh, expand out the, um, the SIP as a project in, in more of a kind of so let's say let's say I do the pre-show for the puzzles episode today or tomorrow, and then I get everything all planned, everything's great, and then Saturday I'm like, hey, uh, I feel like I want to do a, a recording. I want to do a live broadcast. So I push the pre-show down to 11 p.m., and around 11 a.m. I just play play some puzzles for like an hour or two. I think that would be pretty fun. Um I don't know how that will work with religion or politics, but uh, it's, it's an idea. Uh, and so I, I think that might work. I think that might be good. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what else I want to do here. So we have this one that I'll just I'll put in the same kind of boat. This one. Because the uh, the way I have the chart colors is that um, white is something I'm working on, which kind of turned out to be more of um, gray would be for the week of. So maybe I'll put put another line here. I'll put another two lines down here, and then I'll say plans not done, and then I'll copy this over, and then I'll say. This would be gray background, uh, weekend work. And then I'll copy that over here and align at that so it doesn't jump in over there. Uh, we'll make that, yeah, I think that'll work. Um, that, that's good. So with that calendar now we have would be April, April or yeah, April nine through the fifteenth. So nine through the fifteenth goes like this. And I'll just kind of bring this over for my publication calendar for my YouTube side of things. Um, so Jump that down, copy, 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 and so this means that, okay, so yeah, th this is good last month, the last week of the month there, we copy this down, 19, 0, 09 through 15 for April, APR. APR. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so that's why it didn't match up. <laughs> that would be 19 through 25. That would be 26 through 01. So M uh, slash A would be 02 through 08. All right, cool. So there's all that. That looks good. I am not sure about the manufactured honesty bit right now, and it's uh, almost a month away, so I think I want to keep the focus on the next three podcast overlays there. So that would probably be the best way to go, uh, and what we'll do is we'll start with puzzles there. Um, so, yeah, I'll switch it over to puzzles and... Yeah, I think that's good there. Um, so if I can come up with something during the week, then I'll move the... I've been playing Sable offline. Uh, it's pretty all right. 
Uh, I give it a three out of five in terms of like, it's kind of boring, but it, it's just a little bit too open world is my main problem with it. A little bit too vague in terms of what to do. And it's kind of, it's kind of empty in the idea of you have to go from one side of the map to another. And so you're hanging out for a few minutes, walking over there, but there's really nothing that interesting along the way. Uh, so it's, it's atmospheric. Sure. But, uh, I don't know. I play it maybe every other week, uh, death stranding. I tried to play it like in my kind of style of no audio and talking. It was just, like, this is not the kind of game for this. this is kind of it's a cool game and I liked it, but it's definitely not a uh, <laughs> a talk over the game kind of game. Uh, I don't know how broadcasters do that. I haven't really watched anyone play it, but uh, yeah. So these are the video games that I've recorded videos for and published over the next few weeks. So let's see what else I can do here. I can prep the the descriptions. I could do that. Or I can figure on what else I want to do. So this is us right now. Uh, I could do this live. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll go over to the maintenance uh, series I've been doing. And I'll just kind of copy over from there. So uh, let's make that bigger so we have more room and all that kind of stuff. And I'll go over to the no sip. So this one here. So do I want, yeah, I'll do it like this. I'll say um, as part of, of the production for the semi-interactive podcast project what I thought I'd do intermittently and with no real plan other than for about two hours on the pre-show days I wanted to show my process for prepping podcasts this goes from this ranges from this range of topic I don't want to phrase it it's like this range of what I plan to do and let's capitalize that um, goes from goes all over the place from building things in OBS to doing research or casually playing games that might relate to the topic at hand. So the way I write these, um, let's move that over, is the first paragraph I talk about like a general kind of overview. And then in episode one, um, I might, I might do this like this. Yeah. Um, so how would I phrase that? So it'd be a sip and then that'd be sip. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm doing. Um, and then I want to compare it with that. So zero one. Um, in episode one of the semi-interactive podcast podcast project pre pre show or sip <laughs> oh left to my own devices I just I go with the wildest stuff possible, right? It's uh, it's boundless creativity within uh, a reality in which uh, the, the only limitation is you don't break terms of service and you don't piss off too many people at one time. 
uh, yeah, uh, welcome to my world, uh, where I hang out and I do a whole bunch of cool stuff, uh, and if you want to join in on this weirdness, uh, you can join the, the semi-attractive podcast discord, the sip cord, uh, the link is... Usually, oh yes, because this is uh, that, that was from a live template, um, or from a, a media maintenance template. I'll throw that over by way of this one here. Um, but 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 where are you? Down a little bit. Sip cord. Throw that over here if you want to join. Join in the madness or whatever. Um, this is going to be a whole uh, cleanup to rebrand from the semi interactive podcast to the podcast project as sort of a, a way to be um, have a clean differentiation so that way when when we can do this as a, a podcast proper then we can go back to it so uh, yeah, just going to take some time to do all that, but uh, I wanted to explain that and do that because we have the podcast bit over here. Copy that over to this one here. That would be a semi interactive podcast episodes. We have the zip cord. I did write that somewhere else, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. I'll have to do like a whole project of cleaning up hundreds, hundreds of uh, videos to have everything uh, aligned well. So just leave it messy. It's fine. <laughs> uh, year three will probably be where I'll be like, okay, everything from year one, year two is kind of clean up in batches, but year three will go proper from the start. Um, so, year two episodes playlist, sip discord or sip cord open to all notes about opinions. Um, I won't be worried about, could be technical training. Yeah, why not, why not throw it in? Um, and my favorite thing to do with all my videos to make new pot, uh, playlists. So we have a bunch of them going. <laughs> ten of many. One of ten of many. Uh, let's see how many that goes toward. Oh, 36. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, some of them are private, but most of them are public. Uh, so what I usually do is I go add them in by way of here. By I'll put in the playlist first. Um, by way of grabbing this up here, semi-interactive podcast project pre-show, pre-pre-show playlist. And then call some episodes, some videos, some playlists. If I had any order to it, I lost it long ago. So sip to... And then I'll add a new one here. Pre pre show um, that'd be podcast sip pps. Throw in your he he's now. Um, pre show showing how I showing the pre production for. The sip. Great. Yeah, that looks good. And then I was thinking of the technical train as well. So there we go. Three of them. So, yeah. That gives us the new playlist, which should be right here. Refresh it. And there are a few things I like to do with these. So first grab the URL, bring that up here. Next up, wait for it. Um, no videos yet because uh, I guess it's rolling. Um, 
So we'll just uh, save that down here, and we'll say um, pre pre shows for the semi interactive podcast project. Pre shows are offline recordings where I might do more focused art or research, but these are live impromptu um, broadcasts that show some of the weirder elements or things that I want to uh, receive broader input on. And then I'll just copy that over and throw it in the description here. Um, I thought of doing this a few days ago after we decided to cancel the Lunar New Year episode. Near Year episode and I had a weekend of videos that I could fill with whatever I wanted. In this episode, with part of this episode's description, episode's description being, being written live, I walked through the pre-production for three podcasts that we're planning to do over the next few weeks. Uh, four, actually, over the next month. Um, puzzles, that was religion, politics, and sobriety. Heavy topics, especially the puzzles topic. A uh, small possibility for the content warning. A special thanks. I carry that over from the media maintenance series, which is just like me doing this, but in a more focused environment. So thanks to you, the viewer. Uh, the live, the live studio audience viewer, or the pre-recorded in the front of that live studio audience or the pre-recorded VOD watcher viewer for understanding that the behind the scenes content can be a bit self-glorifying and yeah, it, it, it can be it's all me showing all this weird stuff and some of it's just like what the hell are you doing and it's like uh, I'm, I'm having fun <laughs> So year two, pre-pre-show, technical training for good measure, show notes. Uh, I'll add the comments or do whatever. Um, charity, this is the one I picked for the media maintenance one. Uh, maybe isn't exactly relatable, but um, it's probably okay. Uh, so let's grab the... Pound signs, the, uh, the tags for the podcast, and we'll throw that in at the end here. Sip, sip, semi interactive podcast. I think I forgot to do the semi interactive podcast project, but uh, but 110 videos so far. Okay, that's quite a bit. Um, and podcast up at the top. Podcast prep. Podcast production. Editing. Editing tutorial. Publishing. Publishing tips. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff there. Save it. And I have no real thumbnail yet. Um, I don't really know what I would do for that. Um, I know exactly what I'm going to do right here. 
Uh, take a screenshot of this right here, and that's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> good old, good old logic, right? So bring that over here, and then upload that thumbnail over here. There we go. Good enough for me. Um, so what else do I want to accomplish in this video? Besides hopefully not crashing the video. Um, so these are all fine. Uh, this we have, we have the next ones of these going. So that's good. I just took a while for it. So over to live. We, where we are. Um, so I have these three to do. Those would be part of the media maintenance category. I'll probably do them later offline. No real need to do much with that. So all these are all good. So I think I'm covered for right now. I can't think of much else I want to do here. So... Yeah, let's uh, let's begin to wind down and wrap it up a little bit. So, thanks for hanging out, everyone, for watching, for listening, for checking out uh, what I'm doing here. Um, tomorrow, I'll decide. Maybe I'll dig more into the um, puzzles aspect of it. Maybe I'll play some puzzles. Um, maybe I'll do some live research, some live reading. Um, I could do the same for the religion side of things. I could even push these out. So the medical stuff would go out here. So that way I could have more, um, I don't know, more stuff to, uh, to research, to think about. That could be a good approach. Uh, maybe I could do stuff for manufactured honesty, do some research on that. I haven't quite decided. But what I have decided on is thanking you once again for watching and for listening. And we'll go find someone to go raid. Uh, if you want to hang out, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. Um, let's see who I might want to go raid of the people uh, that I know. Um, let's see. We could raid ZP. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Matt. Uh, right at the very end as well. Uh, we could uh, go raid me. Um, let's let's find out what happens if I do uh, raid on paper underscore. A channel cannot raid itself. That's what it tells me. So unfortunately... Twitch has prevented me from being able to do that. <laughs> uh, welcome on in there, too. Uh, um, it is on a... I'll show that just so that way I can show just that bit there. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a while since I've been able to record on to Twitch. Um, and it's been a while since I've seen you as well uh, because of that. Um, so the, the long of it is the old computer I have, which is still functional, um, has an older version of OBS. That version of OBS is not uh, compatible in, in being able to broadcast onto Twitch. The Twitch API or application protocol interface or whatever, um, they canceled that about 10 months ago. They're like, hey, uh, you, you can't... We don't want you on Twitch anymore. So it's like, it, 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 <laughs> it's like, okay, what can I do? So I was doing YouTube for like 10 months. And now with this new computer, uh, I'm on OBS 29.0.0. So now I can uh, broadcast on to Twitch again. So yeah, very cool stuff. Um, and, uh, I, I had, uh, a while ago, I had some network problems. It turned out that the line was um, in decent shape, but I had uh, some problems both with the uh, NIC, the, wire, the network interface card, on the laptop, 
and with the wireless by way of the router having weird issues. So I was having a heck of a time with all that. And so now that's all sorted out. So I'm working full time. So I'm doing these on the weekends or on days where I'm off. Uh, so yeah, that's the long of it. Uh, the short of it is trying to figure out who I want to go raid. So could go in a direction where we find some new people, some new friends, or go visit some old friends. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit less social, so let's go raid to Axolotl, which has been kind of the uh, the SIP kind of uh, option. Um, we'll do a shout out first for them. Uh, they they have. Uh, these, uh, oh, let's let's show it on the screen here before I go. Uh, Axel Waddle. They are a species of salamanders that uh, are closely related to the tiger salamander. It is unusual among amphibians in that it, the axolotl, reaches adulthood without undergoing this process. So they remain aquatic and gilled. And yeah, so good stuff there. So I'll do the shout out for them first and I'll do the raid. If you want to follow them, if not, it's all cool. Uh, if you want to raid even, it's cool. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not, I'm not big about numbers. I'm not big about stats. It's just like you hang out if you want to. I appreciate you. If you, if you just want to watch silently while you're playing a video game or while you're cooking, I think that's the best um, thing that you can do. Just hang out if you want to, and if you don't, that's all cool. And that's been it for me for this episode of the Semi-Antarctic Podcast Project pre-pre-show, where I just uh, set up some stuff, uh, got through some details, and uh, now it is time for me to go. Take care, everyone, and bye bye